Welcome to Reread, where I'm rereading through the expanded universe in chronological order. Folks, we are still doing Darth Vader. Five, five issue short stories here. Da Darth Vader and the Nth Assassin. I remember when this came out. I remember it was advertised. I was thinking, oh wow, that demon creature with wings. He looks really cool. Yeah, he's at the beginning for just a few pages at the end. And then he's on one page at the end of the five issue story. He is really a nobody in the whole story. And that I remember that was the one that they used for the ads because he looked really cool. Why not use the demon with wings to go after him? They use this other guy who looks like the poor man's Darth Vader or the poor man's Doctor Doom, take your pick. But he's supposed to be the expert assassin. He has never failed before in his life, you know. Um, you know, but of course he's going to fail here, you kind of know, because this super rich man says, uh, Darth Vader killed my son and I want him dead. I've hired eight assassins and they've all, they, they, they've all died. But you guys are the, you know, the cream of the crop. Will you do so? And he kind of enters into their domain without permission. And the assassin goes, you're a fool to come in here like this. Anyone who sees me, you know, uh, will lose their eyes. You know, you know, so he said, so he said, yes, I'll do your job. And then he goes, you may leave now. And he turns around and his entire battalion that was with him is dead. Because while he was talking to them, they, the assassins killed his whole crew. Or maybe the, maybe the one assassin did. And then at the end, you, the old man is talking and laughing. He goes, Darth Vader, I can't wait to see the look on your face. And, of course, the old man's eyes have been plucked out. Because you're not allowed to see the master assassin ever. But he doesn't matter because he thinks Darth Vader is finally going to get it. Is Darth Vader going to get it? No, you know that. Now, oddly enough, the Nth Assassin is really not uh, part of the big storyline. In fact, he only comes in at the end of the story. Uh, most of it, one through four, issues one through four, is all about the Headless Snake, the cult of the Headless Snake, I can't remember, and they try to kill Palpatine. In fact, uh, Darth Vader walks in, he, he senses danger, force pushes Palpatine out of his throne room chair, and you think, oh wow, is he attacking the Emperor? Force pushes the Emperor's throne room chair out the window and it explodes. And then starts to kill the Imperial Guards. He went, you, you, you didn't do your uh, sworn duty. And then he's kind of worried. He's like, why didn't, you, why didn't the Emperor feel this? He went, I don't know, whoever this is, they're clouding our you know, our force ability. They've got some dark magic, some dark force magic here too. And that's what this cult is. They kind of dabble in dark force magic. Now, they have some kind of super weapon on their planet. It's a super laser that can cut through things. Mm-hmm. So Darth Vader definitely wants to investigate. He's looking for the headless snake, though. When he gets there, this whole cult worships him because he is the prophesied one. His little tribal-looking Darth Vader picture is there, chopping off the head of the, the final snake. So they think he's there to lead them. And he doesn't want to lead them. He just wants that the information on their super weapon. What powers their super weapon? That's all he cares about. It's a death cult. He went, do it or I'll kill you. He said, oh, we would love for you to kill us. Please kill us. He went, this is insanity. You know, he's like, what is wrong with you people? Um, but, you know, then he has, he has some visions from the death cult. I can't, he has to take this test to get into the chamber. And he can see himself being very powerful. And he bears the mark of the headless snake. But he doesn't want that type of power. And that's not what Darth Vader is about. So he's not going to be tempted. He's going to just grab the crystal and then uh, kill all of them. You know. But when he comes out of that temple, out of the adventure in the last comic book, the issue 5, that's when the Nth Assassin comes. And you think, oh wow, big drop, drop down, you know, knockout battle. No, Vader easily handles him. And I love that. I love that. That's the one thing I loved about it. This book was okay. It was okay. Considering how bad Lost Command and Ghost Prison were, it's better than I remembered. I'll say that. It's better than those two, and it may be my favorite. Now, that's not saying much, because I think the Darth Vader comic books were just really a waste of time, Sat besides Purge. Um, I think they were just sadly a waste of time. But Nth Assassin, not that annoying. Is that really, is that really a uh, recommendation, though? So what happened to the old man? Well, of course, Darth Vader's going to kill him, too. You know, because Darth Vader always gets his man. No one gets one over on Darth Vader. So, I'll go ahead, even though I haven't reviewed the last one yet, I'm just going to go ahead and say, I think Nth Assassin is the best one of these. It's not perfect. It's got a bunch of weird, dark sorcery in it, which I'm not really a big fan of. But, it was pretty good. Way more enjoyable than I remember. Alright, folks. That's all for now. See you next time.